I don't want that Sony shut down the project. But what I really don't want is that Sony continue to strike my video to the point of deleting my YouTube and Twitter channels. Bloodborne is in a strange state, and I'm not talking about the Lovecraftian gothic setting. Despite being a masterpiece, the game itself is somewhat of a black sheep in the FromSoft library. It's one of only two games on this list that are platform exclusive, being tied to the PlayStation 4. The other one is Demon Souls, which, to be fair, had the most limited launch you could ask for, exclusive to the PlayStation 3 on launch, and initially only available in Japan. However, Demon Souls had an entire modern remake for the PlayStation 5, which unfortunately leaves Bloodborne on its own. Sadly abandoned, a 30 frames per second outcast. Well, this leads us to the story of how two ordinary men from France had a hunter's dream to bring Bloodborne back to the waking world their attempt to recreate the game in Unreal Engine 5, and how Sony said delete this, and struck down their trailers. Away! Away! I'm Maxime. I was a taxman uh, before, but I wasn't happy, so two years ago I said to my wife, this is the right moment to quit. So I decided to quit my job and focus on our game Bloody Doctor. I'm Damien, I was a forensic uh, scientist, a forensic uh, scientist, yes. I quit <laughs> because uh, like Maxime, I wasn't happy. So I focused myself on uh, game development. This is Maxime and Damien, whose meeting story is quite extraordinary. Both of them independently quit their jobs to pursue game development and eventually crossed paths at a French video game contest in 2020. Damien sent me this old video link to the moment Maxi made his finalist speech, which was the first time his original game was revealed to the world. Side note, I think this video embarrassed Maxim, but the truth is this moment is the reason they met. After Damien saw Maxim's presentation, he reached out and offered his help. But what exactly is Bloody Doctor? And what does it have to do with a Bloodborne remake? And uh, two years ago, I joined Maxim uh, to make Bloody Doctor, that's our game. Took our inspiration from, uh, from Bloodborne, in, and uh, the game is pretty difficult. I can say it's between Bloodborne, Diablo, and Max Payne for narration, because I really love uh, the, the direct narration, very impactful, uh, of Max Payne, for example. Very different than uh, Elden Ring or Dark Souls uh, narration uh, you need to read on an object. Uh, Really, really different. And the isometric view uh, reminds us uh, some Diablo. We made like the extraction system where you need to collect, you need to harvest organs. And with that, you, you have your character progression, RPG system, you know. But after that, it's really, really close to uh, Souls-like. You have some parry system, you have some bosses, you know. Uh. Before speaking to them, I wasn't sure if Bloody Doctor was a code name for their Bloodborne remake, but as they explained, they are two separate projects. Bloody Doctor is their first attempt at game design, and the incorporation of certain Souls-like mechanics show that they enjoy these games. But just how passionate are they? I, I have the always world. been obsessed by Bloodborne. There is an atmosphere and another an direction that obsessed me from the first League trailer called the Project Beast, you know? I think the art direction and the atmosphere is really, really great. I really love the design of the characters, the armor uh, sets are really, really beautiful. But uh, you know, I really love Lovecraft uh, and it's the aesthetic, the atmosphere for me. I know that players really want to have a, really, a PC version. So and this is a message to say to Sony, that's why uh, I, I, I write this. Uh, okay, Sony, you don't want, so I'm going to, to make the game because I really want to see a Bloodborne with beautiful graphics because I see the game we have this art direction is so beautiful. I don't know if you played uh, Demon Souls remake on PS5, but 
the game is so beautiful. I really love the animations. I really love the sound design. I really want to have a remake like this. The completion of work on the Bloody Doctor project in February of this year has led us to this point, with an unofficial Bloodborne remake attempt in Unreal Engine 5 from a two-man development team and an entire game's worth of experience under their belts. When we start a Bloodborne remake, uh, it was after a lot of negotiation with publishers about uh, Bloody Doctor. We were almost ready to sign a contract uh, with, and they said to us, uh, we will write you uh, next week. But I couldn't stay uh, a week without doing anything, so I said to Damien, OK, I will remake Bloodborne during this time. And I started to model the enter, make some animations. Then one week later, the publisher said finally, it's a no. I was so upset. Uh, I decided to focus on this Bloodborne remake and then two weeks more after that uh, I delivered this video of Central Yarnam uh, that became vi viral. What we want is to deliver a demo of Bloodborne remake, not uh, something really long, at least Central Yarnam with two, bo uh, two fort uh, bosses. So that's something we can make in not a really long time and after that we can focus on uh, Bloody Doctor. I think people will be wondering how much has just been ported directly from Bloodborne in your project? How much of it is done from scratch? Everything is made from scratch. The only thing is, uh, which is imported is uh, some design that I found on uh, Reddit. But uh, everything is made from scratch. The model, I made the model, the, the, the enemy model. I made the enter model. Uh, I made all the animations. Everything is made uh, from scratch except uh, some, some design. That's incredible. It, it genuinely looks so good. I can't believe it. <laughs> just, <laughs> Thank it's you, just, man. It's just the both of you. Yes, 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 yes both, of, both of us, yes. As exciting as this project is, I was very curious as to what the end goal was and how the pair would respond to the copyright strikes from Sony. I'm afraid, you know, that uh, Sony again strike me and, uh, you know, you, you're really exciting about this, this project, but uh, this project can kill you in a certain way. So I, I really want that Sony send a clear cease and desist letter. If they want that we stop and don't delete and strike videos sometimes that it results in the removal of, of uh, our channel, you know. It's, it's really important. We don't want to make the, the game actually, but only a demo. And it's also a challenge for us, for Damien and I, to make something really ambitious. We learn so much because it's really, really, really interesting to decompose the, the game, to analyze every animation, every game design aspect. And, and we we spent two years on uh, UE4, and we want to we wanted to dig in more in UE5. Yes, exactly. It was the opportunity to switch to UE5 too because Bloody Doctor is on UE4. I can see the the tweet that had the video taken down. Was a YouTube video removed as well? Uh, yeah, the, the two two of them. The video was deleted. Deleted on YouTube. By Sony? Yeah, by Sony. Alors, it's not Sony. It's uh, the agency. It's um, they subtract an agency. What I understood from that is Sony outsources their copyright enforcement to a third-party agency on YouTube, and they were the ones who issued these copyright takedowns. Just right now, uh, I'm so glad for this kind of result. So much love about this project, about people who really love uh, what what we did. Actually, it's, it's so amazing. It's, uh, it's tomorrow Sony said uh, an email to us uh, with a season and desist letter. It's not the end of the world. It was it was a really great experience for now. So what's the ideal outcome of all this? As cool as it would be to have a fan-made Bloodborne remake in a modern game engine, I still think the ideal outcome is obvious. We want Sony to revisit Bloodborne in some shape or form, whether it's a remaster, a remake, or a 60 frames per second upgrade PC port, anything would be great. Channels like Digital Foundry proved years ago that running Bloodborne on the base PlayStation 4 has built-in variable frame pacing issues, on top of the fact that it's already a 1080p 30fps capped game. And additionally, the game being restricted to one platform means a huge portion of the FromSoft fanbase have never been able to buy the game. I'd like to share some good news that has happened since this interview. Maxime and Damien, after having a rough start in the gaming industry and being rejected by publishers, have decided to self-publish their original game, Bloody Doctor, on Steam, and it is currently available to be wishlisted. I would like to give a special thank you to Maxime and Damien for agreeing to talk to me, especially in their second language, because unfortunately, my French is not yet sufficient. 
Yeah, he's really, really uh, good uh, at French. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> je ne parle pas très bien le français. J'apprends encore. Oh. Okay. Je, je suis sûr que tu parles mieux anglais que mon français. C'est pas mal uh, déjà. Ah, it's good. Okay. T'as appris où? Oh, uh, j'ai j'ai appris en France. Okay. J'ai vécu à Montpellier l'année dernière oh, Montpellier. pendant ah, six mois. Okay. Oh. Oui. Et Maxime habite très proche de Montpellier. Yeah, I, I, I am uh, Toulouse. Ah Je ne oui. sais pas si tu connais. My English is very limited, so I cannot explain more. <laughs> oh no, your English is so good. No, I could never have done this whole interview in French. Trust me, your English is very good. Oh, thank you.